Hello kids, welcome to our journalism class. I am Mrs. April Joy in Tatano and I am your journalism teacher. How are you today? I hope everyone is good and everyone is doing fine. So this will be the flow or uh, the flow of our class in journalism. So first we are going to check the attendance. So I will be assigning one pupil who will do the task in checking the attendance. So what you are going to say is Good morning, Mrs. Intatano. Good morning, classmates. Today, there are, you have to state how many pupils are present and how many pupils are absent. And as much as possible, you, you are also going to uh, state the names of those who are absent. Next to attendance checking is the reading of online class reminders. One pupil will also be assigned to do this task. Number one, mute your mic always. Number two, if you want to say something, raise your raising hand emoji and wait for the teacher to call your name and mute your mic and start talking. Number three, when done speaking, mute your mic again. Number four, Always turn your camera on. Number five, if you encounter technical problems while the lesson is going on, use the chat box so I can help you address your concern. And number six, be active and participate in the discussion. Share your ideas when needed. Next is journalism terms. Another pupil will be assigned to do this task. So here's how it goes. We have here a newspaper. What do we call this part of newspaper? We call it nameplate. Nameplate refers to the name of the newspaper. Let's try this. What is the name of this newspaper? Write your answer on your drill board and show it as soon as you are done. The correct answer is the Philippine Star. The Philippine Star is the name of this newspaper. Therefore, the Philippine Star is the name plate. Let's now have a copy reading drill. The symbol for the week is this. This symbol is used to capitalize letter or letters. Now, Let's use the copy reading symbol to correct the following. Number one, Catherine Evangelista. Number two, Manila City. The correct answer is letter E in the surname of Catherine, which is Evangelista, should be capitalized. And in number two, letter M in the word Manila should be capitalized because Evangelista in number one is the surname of a person, therefore it should be written in capital letter. And Manila is the specific name of a city which is proper noun. Therefore, the word Manila should be written in capital letter. The word Manila should begin with a capital letter. Let's now have our news sharing. And for today's news, DepEd releases school calendar and activities for school year 2020-2021. 
School year 2020-2021 will begin on October 5, 2020 and will end on June 11, 2021. Now, let's answer the following. Use your drill board and show your answer as soon as you are done. Number 1. What is the news about? Number 2. When is the opening of classes for school year 2020-2021? And number 3. When is the end of school year 2020-2021? In this part, we will have our review, and after the review, we will have our lesson proper. So again, here is the class flow of our journalism class. First, we are going to check the attendance. List the name of those who are absent prior to journalism class. Report attendance to the class. Number two, Reading of online class reminders. Number three, journalism terms. Number four, copy reading drill. Number five, news sharing to be followed by review and then the lesson proper. And now, here is our journalism class schedule. For fast learner six pupils, we are going to have our journalism class every Monday to Tuesday. For grade 6 section Archimedes, we are going to have our journalism class every Wednesday to Thursday. The time is 11 a.m. up to 11.30 a.m. We are going to use the Google Classroom Synchronous link. And then every Friday, you are going to submit your offline activities. Here are the things you need to prepare for your journalism class. One notebook, you are going to divide it into two. One half of your notebook is for taking down notes and one half is for your journal writing. You will also be needing paper, ball pen, drill board, whiteboard marker and eraser, and folder for your portfolio. Lessons covered in our journalism class are news writing, editorial writing, editorial cartooning, feature writing, copy reading and headline writing, science writing, sports writing, photojournalism, radio broadcasting, and collaborative desktop publishing. Now let's take a look at your journal writing format. So first you are going to put the date today and then you have to answer the following. What I learned today. You have to put on the blank what you learned from today's class. Next, questions I still have in mind. These are the things you have in mind that you want to be answered. Then, I want to learn more about. What are the things that you want to learn more about in journalism? And the last one, today I feel, for example, happy. Today, I feel happy. Here are the things that you need to do offline. These are your asynchronous activities. First, you are going to answer activity number one. It is a pretest to be uploaded in Journalism Google Classroom. Next is you have to watch this video lesson number one, and this video lesson number one will be uploaded also in the Journalism Google Classroom. So that's it. I am happy to be with you this school year as your journalism teacher. Congratulations in advance for the academic success despite this pandemic. See you again next time and always remember, stay safe. Bye!